Yes, yes for FIFA. I think it's well I think there's two ways of looking at it one way is that this would be a really good thing for FIFA because you're sort of coming in and trying to cut out what you know could be a cancer and could be something um, at the same time though as I was saying before it, it confirms the fears that people have about FIFA and says that they're really you know if the United States government is going to allege this then there really must be something there today we had the director of the FBI and the head of the Department of Justice the Attorney General stand next to each other at a press conference about this. For us, that's pretty significant. I don't think this is as big a story in the U.S. as it is in Europe. We tend to care about soccer for a very short period of time during the World Cup. And besides that, we have our our American football and other sports, so it's not as big a deal. I don't think most Americans could name the head of FIFA. How do you comment the rest of the FIFA UEFA shows this FIFA the red card. Today's events are a disaster for FIFA and tarnish the image of football as a whole. UEFA is deeply shocked and saddened by them. These events show once again that corruption is deeply rooted in FIFA's culture. There is a need for the whole of FIFA to be rebooted and for a real reform to be carried out. The upcoming FIFA Congress risks to turn into a farce and therefore the European associations will have to consider carefully if they should even attend this Congress and caution a system which, if it is not stopped, will ultimately kill football. The UEFA member associations are meeting tomorrow ahead of the FIFA Congress. At that point, the European associations will decide on what further steps need to be taken to protect the game of football. In the meantime, the members of the UEFA Executive Committee are convinced that there is a strong need for a change to the leadership of this FIFA and strongly believe that the FIFA Congress should be postponed with new FIFA presidential elections to be organized within the next six months. So we are very much interested in on basically what happens before the allocation of the two World Cups, that is 2018 and 2022. And in that regard, we opened criminal procedures at the beginning of March 2015. And today, these uh, uh, actions, so to say, happened at uh, FIFA's headquarters in Zurich in order to collect data, electronic data, documents of interest to these our uh, investigation. Thank you.